Stop. You're in the subway. Stop resisting. No, 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 no. What's your name? You're asking. What's your name? Four officers surrounding that 18 year old woman, handcuffing her. Wow, as she cries for help. Yes, look at this still here. Let that resonate with you. Do you really need four officers for jumping a turnstile? And police say that the 18 year old, one of them was bitten by her. That's what they claim. And punched, she punched another in the face when she was caught hopping the turnstile. They're also claiming that the 18 year old is known to the department. And so they took her into custody. Among those outraged in response to the local, was local council member Chi Asi, who compared the woman's arrest to the subway death of an Asian woman shoved in front of the train in Times Square earlier this year. He wrote in a tweet, Four cops were on the platform when Michelle Go was tragically pushed into the subway tracks and the police did nothing. A black woman hops a turnstile and is confronted with four cops with handcuffs, tasers and firearms for $2.75. Now Friday's bed arrest comes amid the NYPD's controversial revival of broken windows policing or a crackdown of quality of life offenses police say will reduce a citywide spike in violent crimes and thefts. The tactic which is in the past has included a focus on fare evasion have been condemned by advocates who argue they're ineffective against reducing violent crime and disproportionately affect black, brown and low income people. The NYPD also says that several weeks into the crackdown of strap hangers that violating transit rules under Mayor Eric Adams subway safety plan, which in its first week saw 455 people, many homeless New Yorkers ejected from the transit system. And just last Monday, if you recall, Mayor Eric Adams stated that New York City's DA should go back to prosecuting people who commit subway fare evasion. He believes prosecutors declining to press charges sent the wrong message. They need to, it's a crime, it's a crime. Adam said during a press conference in the Bronx with NYPD leadership in response to a question about controversial soft on crime. DAs in Brooklyn and Manhattan, Alvin, Manhattan's Alvin Bragg, who have opted not to prosecute fair beaters. Adam said prosecutors soft touch on turnstile jumpers has fed into increased subway crime rates in recent years. Dina, what are your thoughts on this one? I mean, it's a horrible video. I mean, we there doesn't seem to be any reason to have these four, you know, large men on her. And I don't understand why, you know, trying to do kind of the right goal. I mean, Mayor Adams, the reason why they're were probably so many officers on duty is he just recently kind of upped the amount of officers that were gonna be on subways because of the really legitimate issue of people getting pushed and killed in the subway. I mean, there was an issue here, but it's really sad that this is, you know, kind of the result of it. This is not what we want there to be so much um, focus on. So, I mean, New York City has kind of a major issue because the um, a lot, you know, the amount of people riding the subway has gone way down. They a lot of revenue comes from the subway, and this was the mayor's, you know, wanting to kind of make people feel safe was to have more uh, transit workers. But that kind of video isn't gonna make people feel safe, especially people of color. And I don't understand why the police kind of continue to always do this, you know, um, in their in their pursuit of maybe a, a, a worthy goal, you know, doing it in, in such a wrong way like this. Yeah, I know, and definitely when it comes to video, it's very problematic, you know, because we saw Eric Adams kind of implicitly threaten people in terms of filming police and saying, you know, there's a proper way to film police and to document it. Stop being on top of my police officers while they're carrying out their jobs. And that should be really, really disheartening to a lot of people and also very scary because 
These things need to be documented so people can decide what leaders they want to put in positions of authority who are going to make decisions like this of whether to over police people. And this whole broken windows policing theory, which I was well educated on at my time at John Jay in New York City, it's it's not necessarily fit for the current times. The fact is we have a lot of social ills that are creating circumstances and situations for why you end up having so many homeless on the street and without providing opportunities, alternatives, without raising the infrastructure so that people have a place to go and can be safe and also can have access to basic transportation. It's it's just punishing people for being poor and that's not right. And also too, the way that this young lady was treated is completely and totally unacceptable, especially for just jumping a turnstile. Like that's, that's just excessive, it's wrong. And I don't think that this is how we should be using our resources. Um, yeah, and I think it's, it's a significant problem. Do you have any final words, Dina? No, I mean, I agree. You know, it's if she did punch and bite them, then, you know, I can see why she was arrested. But again, there's no need for there had to have been so many people. She was not, it didn't, you know, she was a tiny woman. And, and I would think one officer could have handled that. Yeah, and if anything, why the need to uh, to hold her to the ground and treat her the way that they treated her? It just seems excessive. If they could actually have officers helping out uh, in crime prevention, that would be great. Even though we know the studies and stats show that they don't do much in terms of crime prevention, and so you can't say that their presence changes anything as people are still uh, fair jumping with or without NYPD being president or present. But we're gonna have to see how this is handled. But there are a lot of things coming out of the mayor's office right now that are very very disconcerting, particularly when it comes to use of police force and condoning that kind of hard hitting police response.